Um, so, um, because we are doing algebraic geometry, we are interested in the uh, geometry of varieties. See that x is a projective variety over an algebraically closed field. Um, so the question is how to study the geometry of x. And uh, uh, Mori told us that maybe an efficient way of studying the geometry is to understand uh, rational curves um, on x. So um, <coughs> an interesting case interesting case is the extreme case that uh, x, let me put x underline. So x uh, is covered by lots of P1s. So, um, so the idea to start the uh, varieties covered by lots of rational curves leads to uh, the following uh, important definition. Um, X is um, rationally connected. Um, we'll call it RC. If uh, if there exists uh, a diagram like this, such that um, first the family U uh, map to S is a family of uh, rational curves. And second, we want uh, x covered by rational curves in the in a, uh, strongest possible uh, situation. So we would like any two point of x uh, can be joined by a rational curve. So, um, so we want the uh, evaluation map from u to cross u over s to uh, x underline cross x underline. This is uh, dominant. So this means that uh, a pair of general points uh, on x can be connected by a rational curve. So, um, so over characteristic zero, this is perfectly good. But for, uh, for positive characteristics, instead of uh, conditions like this, we want to put uh, separateness. Is separably rationally connected. And instead of RC, we call it SRC. And we require this. Uh, to evaluation to be uh, separably dominant, dominant. Okay, so um, uh, this morphism is separable. So, um, so clearly, uh, over over a characteristic zero, um, SRC, SRC and RC are equivalent. Um, but, uh, but SRC works better in characteristic P. Uh, and I think uh, uh, at this time, we, we don't know what RC in place implies SRC in characteristic P. Or maybe we have counter examples already. I don't know. Oh, there are counter examples. OK. So OK. So, so we know that this side, we don't have this implication. OK. So um, but uh, if you just look at this definition, uh, this is um, 
uh, almost impossible to use definition because how to write down such family, right? It's impossible. So, um, so in practice, in practice, uh, instead of uh, create such family dominant uh, x cross s using the two evaluation, people try to produce very free curves. So um, f from p one to x is called um, free. Um, if the pullback of the tangent bundle is semi-positive. And we call it uh, very free if this one is uh, positive. So um, here I need to assume that uh, x is smooth. So, um, <coughs> so the nice thing about very free curves and free curves is uh, existence of very free curves, uh, p1 ones uh, implies in fact is equivalent to SRC the reason that we have such equivalence is because um, the reason for this is because um, the the moduli of stable maps uh, is algebraic. Oh yes, x underline is projective. Yeah, I'm only working with yeah, I'm only working with quasi projective or projective case. So um, x is uh, yeah, sorry, it's. I only work with smooth case and later maybe with some singularity, but smooth in a different sense. Uh, <laughs> So uh, we can only expect a rational maps. So in fact, um, there are two interesting cases uh, inside a quasi-project variety. The first case, two possibilities. Is uh, uh, either you have a complete rational curve sitting um, sits in the quasi-project variety. Or uh, the next interesting, the, the other interesting case is instead of whole P1, we want an A1 maps to uh, the quasi projective variety. And furthermore, I want this uh, morphism to be proper. Okay. So the properness just means that there's no way you can extend your map feather to get a P1 inside X0. And um, in many situations, if you want to study the definition of map, P1 maps to uh, X0 uh, that behaves like P1 maps to a projective variety. So the focus of this talk will be, will be the second part. The, the well, yeah, 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 but that's a, yeah. But I'm only looking at, so, okay, so what is, uh, why, why I want to study A1, not study maybe P1, delete many uh, more points. The reason is you can consider, um, so, um, so I want I would like to view uh, A1 as P1 compatified in a unique way, meaning at the point at infinity. And so um, and so you can talk about its log tangent bundle this way. So um, and you can also consider um, similarly you can consider P1 together with bunch of points. 
And um, so, so when n equals 0, the tangent bundle is just p1. Let me call this p dagger. So the log tangent bundle is just tangent bundle of p1, so it's O2. And if you add one boundary point, then, uh, then this one becomes O1. It's, uh, it's less positive than the original one, but it's still positive. But if you add two boundary points, then, uh, then this one becomes trivial. And so, uh, so a C star behaves more like a color BL, not a rational curve. And if you add more points, then it's a hygienous curve, uh, essentially. So that's why I'm interested in either P1 or A1 curves in this quasi-projective variety. Okay, so, um, so now I want to mimic the case of um, rationally connectedness and um, to define the A1 connectedness. So here is a definition. Um, so the quasi-smooth quasi-projective variety X0 is um, A1 uh, connected. I call it AC um, if uh, there exists a family like this uh, such that so U over S, this is a family of, of A1s. And second, I want uh, each morphy, each fiber, so, so pick up a little s, I want each fiber uh, is proper. Um, and third, I want the two evaluation induced by f. Uh, to be uh, dominant. Um, and similarly, if you want to uh, work better in the positive characteristic case, you want to add the separateness. Se sep separably, right. So instead of AC, you have SAC, just like the case of uh, rational connectedness and separability. What do you mean? Sorry, the. Uh, Right, if you have generic fiber, they will just delete the fiber that does not satisfy this. So, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, right. Um, but, okay, so, so now here comes the question that how are you going to verify which variety is A1 connected or not, right? We're not going to write down a family like this. It's basically impossible to do this. So um, we want to introduce uh, very free A1s. But on the other hand, you, want, you don't want to deform A1 curves because that's a non-proper variety. So, it, um, so we want to introduce something else. So, um, so here is what we do. So um, we start with A1 inside a for that projective variety. And now I want to uh, compatify A1 in a unique way by add a point at infinity. But this side, because it could be a higher dimensional, so the compatification is not necessarily unique, but at least exists one over characteristic zero. Um, so I want, so, so, so this side, um, 
so is variable compatibilization. Of the quarter project variety. So, so uh, it includes a uh, normal crossings case, and it further allows the case of perfect singularity. So that's the meaning of parallel. Okay. Uh, yes, X is I just erased. So in this talk, this one will be a smooth project, quasi-project variety. So this is uh, smooth. Uh, this one uh, can have toric singularity. So this is quasi-project. Do what standard thing? Uh, there is a reason that you don't want to do extra resolution because every time you do extra resolution, you introduce new curve class inside this variety. And that could possibly uh, cause some problem when you want to construct a very free one curves. So uh, sometimes you want to deal with singular, but not very singular case. So, um, okay. so, um, so because it's a curve, so this one lives in a unique way. Uh, okay, so so such f, this is called a relative stable map. I assume the the image is not a point, so so now uh, a is a relative stable map, meaning meaning that. Uh, uh, I have, what do I have? Meaning that you need to fix the following um, um, discrete invariance. You need to specify the genus, which is genus zero here. That's the genus of the uh, domain curve. And you need to specify the number of markings, n here, and uh, the marking here, we have one, the unique infinite points. And you want to specify a curve class Uh, furthermore, uh, you want to specify how your um, infinity touches the boundary of, of this compatibilization. So, um, so you want to, for each marked point, n, you specify the tangency with the boundary. But in this case, we have only one mark. Uh, now, uh, Now we define the uh, very free A1 curve. So F, the relative stable map from P1 infinity to, uh, to X underline with its boundary uh, is called very free A1 curve. If so, uh, so the nice thing about toroidal compatibilization is there is a well-defined. So I'll call this one this pair X. So there is a well-defined notion of uh, logarithmic tangent bundles, and in case this one has only toroidal boundary, then the, the logarithmic tangent is actually a bundle, not a sheet. So I can consider the bundle. Um, the logarithmic tangent bundle, uh, and I can pull it back to to this P1 with uh, marked point. So this one is called very free if this one is uh, is positive, and this free if it's semi-positive. So, um, so so far everything is um, completely parallel to the case of rational connectedness, except you replace P1 by A1. Okay. Um, what exactly did you say is 
CI is a tenuous condition of that point. Huh? Well, yeah. So, so this one needs not to be smooth. But then locally, it looks like a toric variety. So this element is just the, um, is just the co-character. So just a lattice point in the co-character lattice tells you that how it intersects with your boundary. So in, in particular, when you have normal crossings, it's just a tenuous with each, with each component of that variety, uh, with the, each component of the boundary divisor. Okay. But I mean, you keep the separate steps from the uh, In principle, you can have more points, but, no, no, but I mean, in the yeah, here in my talk, there's only one marked point. There, there will be, uh, there might be two or three points, but only one point with non-trivial contact order, meaning one point touches the boundary. Okay. A mm -hmm. locally analytical way curve means boundary. It could be higher color dimension stratum, exactly. And if it does so, it does so locally and analytically, then you only get curves with the one standard curve. Right, 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 exactly. The element, okay. the element in the co-character lattice of that toric variety. So actually, uh, a lot of uh, A1, very free A1 curves, we're going to say in a minute that will meet the high, um, the higher strata, the deeper strata of that boundary. All right. So um, okay, so um, if we want, if we want, uh, the existence of very free A1 curve corresponds to the A1 connectedness, then we need some type of algebraization of the moduli space. But luckily, you are, we already have that. So uh, this is a theorem with uh, Bromovich. and. Uh, So, so given given a discrete discrete data like this, uh, there is there is a uh, proper uh, DM stack. Uh, parametrizing. Parametrizing uh, stable log maps. Uh, which compatifies. The space. Of relative stable maps. So uh, I w uh, to state this one uh, completely correct, here I need to put the assumption that characteristic equals zero. Um, in, the, um, in the positive characteristic case, uh, we not necessarily have proper and dynamical condition. We just have an algebraic stack, but which still satisfies weak volatile criterion. But in characteristic zero, this is really a compatification. Okay. So <laughs> Uh, you mean positive characteristic? What uh, no, no, possibly? Oh, in this, what to prove? Uh, so, um, so stable map is uh, well defined, right? But the issue is, once you deform this map, everything go into the boundary, and that's not a relative stable map anymore. And so we need to define an object on the boundary that provides no, no, no. you. Yeah, yeah. But the, the fact that you get the multiplicity factor. 
you you mean uh, how to prove this or no, 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 what yeah, what it needs to be? I think the algebraicity for a uh, relative stable map is clear. You're just inside yeah, the that's conservation. That's asking, that's but here we want to prove algebraicity of stable log map. This is not a priori and even an object over the uh, category of schemes. It's an object over the category of log schemes. So you need to show the algebraicity. That's not, you, n you need some work to do in this case. Hmm? Uh, yes, yes, but since I'm not using, uh, I'm not going to mention log uh, geometry in an essential way in this talk, though the proof uses that. I'm, I'm not going to go to the detail of that. But I, w I just want to mention to you that uh, uh, why we need this uh, result. So, uh, So there are two places that this result uh, needs to be used. And one place, not, not an essential way, but uh, the existence of very free A1 curve uh, is equivalent to uh, SAC, uh, followed directly from the algebraization of relative stable map. But another, uh, this is really the technical issue that one, one wants to uh, overcome is how to construct a very free A1 curves. It turns out that construct a very free A1 curve is much more difficult than construct a very free rational curve because you basically have nothing you can use. But with the help of this theorem, so we can construct a very free A1 curves. from degenerated uh, stable log maps. So the algebraicity of, of this stack tells you that once you can construct a stable log map, once you can show that it's unobstructed and the general deformation produces an A1 curve. Okay. So that's how we use this, um, this result. Not necessary. I, I, if your ample lemma has higher degree, right? Then yeah, you need to I calculate yeah. the contribution for near that yeah. point. But here, the, uh, okay. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of examples, including the one you just asked. Um, examples. Drawing work with DP. Okay, so um, so the idea is uh, we want to show that this is not an empty theory, that only not nothing exists in this category. So the first example is um, so we let let x uh, be be the wonderful compatibility. Of, of G, where G is a semi-simple linear algebraic group. So, uh, so then, uh, so then we know something. We know that uh, uh, X. So uh, X or G that doesn't matter uh, is separably a one uh, uni root. 
So this means that it uh, admits a um, free A1 curve, not necessarily very free. So, uh, so when, when one can construct, the next question is when one can construct a very free A1 curve. So uh, if, if this one is uh, uh, SAC, if uh, the characteristic of the field, of the field, uh, this is an algebraically closed field, does not divide uh, the, huh, the, char uh, the character group of the maximum torus divided by um, the root length. And um, in particular, um, X is SAC if G is simply a connected. So uh, in fact, in this example, most of the A1 curves we construct intersect the, the unique closed orbit in that uh, wonderful compatibility. So it's a deeper strata. So it's a deep, deepest strata, actually, of the boundary. Um, I think anything you write that down is just a free one. For a very free one, it's supposed to cap capture the geometry of this variety, and then it should, shouldn't contain any orbit or something like that. So that, that's my, it's, it's not a statement that we can prove, but it's just my impression. Um, okay, so, um, so the second example, um, so, um, let me first quote, quote Mori, uh, who proved the, the Hushman's conjecture that um, X underline, which is projective uh, smooth dimension N, uh, then, then tangent bundle uh, positive uh, is equivalent to uh, this is PN. So um, so now in the logarithmic setting that we have um, x, this is a pair with possibly toroidal boundary. Uh, so so this satisfies uh, the underlying is projective. Um, the log scheme is log smooth. Log smooth means that this the this one has toroidal boundary and smooth everywhere else. Uh, dimension equals n. Then, uh, then the log tangent bundle uh, positive. Uh, this, uh, this, there are only two possibilities. Uh, one is, y is x is given by the projective space with empty boundary, which goes back to Morris' case. And another possibility is um, hyperplane. Hyper. So, so this means that um, AN is a very distinguished quasi-projective variety, which has a distinguished compatibility by PN and no other things. So, um, so these are, yes? Is free. Yes. So I, I think uh, the difficulty in, in this one is you need to rule out the case with singularities. 
Otherwise, the log ten, if it's smooth, the log tangent bundle is, is, a, is a subshift of tangent bundle. So that, pos that follows from Morris theorem. Okay, so, um, so these are the, um, essentially the homogeneous situation. Um, but what about the non-homogeneous situation? Um, so x, so this is x on the line with boundary D. So this is called uh, a um, smooth complete intersection KX in Pn uh, of, of type D1, Dc, Dd, if one, uh, the underlying spin inside Pn is complete the intersection of type D1 through Dc, and uh, second, uh, it's a smooth. And second, the divisor is a is a smooth divisor in cut out by a homogeneous equation of uh, degree d d. Um, so what do we know about these things? So then. Um, So then um, one, if a, if this is a log bundle, meaning the sum of the, these integers is less or equal than n, then, um, then in general, X is uh, a one uni root by line, so uh, which means that uh, for any general such thing, you can find a uh, free a one line, but not a very free one. Uh, B if furthermore. Uh, if furthermore, um, the characteristic of the field does not divide the boundary degree, then um, then X is SAC. So um, we we don't know how to prove the case that when characteristic divides the boundary. For example, P2 relative to a conic, we don't know if it's SAC or not. Um, so, uh, so in characteristic zero, uh, this is better. So if characteristic zero, then uh, then this one less or equal than n uh, implies that x is SAC. It's not just a general one, it's, it's every smooth such pair is SAC. So, um, I'm sorry? If then a general right, then a general x is SAC. So um, I w I just want to give you an idea how to prove B using using the um, using the uh, degeneration method. So, um, so 
true. Uh, C, assuming, assuming D is SRC. I'm not going to give you a complete proof of this one. It relies on several uh, reduction argument, but I want to give you a sense how to construct an A1 curve under the assumption that the final variety D, but it's one dimension lower, assume that one is SRC, but then how are we gonna prove this? So the idea is, is simple. So um, let me draw a picture. So this, so this is X, and with boundary D, and D is um, SRC, so we know that it has a very free rational curve. And from, from one, we know that um, um, the, the pair X with the boundary D that has a free uh, A1 line. So the free A1 line, for example, intersect this way. So out of these two curves, we can construct a stable log map uh, with a unique marking. Uh, so this is construct a stable log map. Um, and then uh, we compare the, the tangent space at this point and show that tangent space, uh, the positive direction of that tangent uh, coming from these two curves span the whole dimension. And then a smoothing, a smoothing of F uh, produce a very free A1. So the reason that we refer A1 is we have only one marked point that remembers the tendency. And once it smooths out, the whole comp component uh, deforms out of the M great or equal to one. And the third is um, the log Codera dimension is minus infinity and the symmetric differential vanishes for um, i equals uh, two, four, six. Okay. So, uh, so this sort of gives uh, a um, relative complete answer in the dimension two case. Any hmm? I'm sorry? Any Is this any what? Oh, uh, characteristic, sorry. So this is over C. Okay. So, um, right. But the previous examples are either over arbitrary characteristics or we need to specify